as Mothas. I'm joined by Daniil Betterson McGee. You can also call me uh, Camp Counselor Daniil. You know, that's true. I've been going on these streets these days, but <laughs> you know, speaking of going on we have a fantastic <laughs> game of valorant lined up we have the st Clair college saints versus harrisburg university and both of these teams i believe are six to zero. so we're gonna have a clash of the titans truly and honestly so it could go either way tonight yeah who's gonna get the permanent mar on their record who's gonna be the first to take an l we're gonna see it right here who do you think it's gonna be let's get some saints. guesses Saints. Saints? I, mean, I believe in the Saints, too. We're hey, biased here. Coach Owen, he told me right to my face, and he is not a man who lies. Like, he said it's going to be clean. It's going to be easy for us. But, of course, this is Valverde. Anything can and will happen. So, whether or not that's <laughs> going to be true, you know, we're going to have to see if his words are going to stand strong they as do. we're going to see the lineups here today. Yeah, they do have more players, so they're winning on the numbers <laughs> side. Yeah, they have I, players. I think we are winning on – the ranked side, aside from Seth, who's ascended three, which is a little bit strange to see, but he's good nonetheless. I believe he was had a pro player at some point, or he's participated at the pro level. I wouldn't be or no, that's Giza. That's Giza. My bad. Got mixed would, up. But still, he's good enough to participate at that level. And then looking at the other teams, they're all sitting at the exact same rank. They climb together. Immortal two. Immortal two. We'll see. Oh, one diamond. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> might be a coach. He's, the, one, he's the cap. Yeah, he's the coach. He's, he's the one sitting out. Well, no, it seems Ivan's the coach on the bottom. Oh, you're right. You know, if there's one thing I've learned in, you know, running a team this semester, it's that nothing on these websites are ever accurate. So who knows who's going to be coaching or who's going to be captain, who's exactly. going to be IGL, who's going to be the water boy. We don't know. All we can do is wait for the game to get started, and hey, that's when we're going to know for sure. Every role is important. you got to stay make sure the team is hydrated. Absolutely. Stay but, hydrated, everybody. Exactly. Buy a Saints water bottle. Merch plug. They're like five dollars. They're really good <laughs> for five dollars, especially. But speaking of really good for five dollars, we have five dollars on Saints winning. Exactly, and we also have a map, so we'll see if that game. We'll give you a little bit more info before you place your bets. <laughs> so we do have the first map is going to be split Saints starting defense, mm. followed by ascent with Saints attacking. And then they have Icebox. We don't have the info who's starting attack and defense, okay. but might not even go that far. It looks like That's Owen true. is that confident. Yeah, it might, again, it's a best <laughs> of three, win two games. You don't even need to worry about that third one. So we're going to have to see whether or not either of these teams are going to be able to take this victory nice, clean, and fast, or if we will have to see that decisive are. final game. But speaking of decisive final games, we're going to see the decisive first game. Starting us off here today, we're going to have the Saints on Defenders, and we're going to be picking up their agents in the agent select about 13 seconds until we head into the action, and I can't wait to see what they have for us today. Exactly. Looks like we have Caillou on Ko. We have Giza on Cypher. We have Seth on Omen. We have Smiley on Breach. And we have Instinct on the Rays. And on the other side, we have Wooda 5 or Woodas. <laughs> and then we have Hijinx, Jeffy, Rano, and Huso. A lot of them look so. to be streamers, but <laughs> stay on this stream. This is the one where you want to be. This is the one true <laughs> stream. You don't want to go anywhere else, but, you know, if you want to, yes, you know now that they are streamers. But as we're going to be streaming into the action for game <laughs> one on split, the Saints, again, are going to be starting on the defending side here. With the lineups that both of these teams have, I think we're going to see a lot of emphasis on map control more so than normal. The ability to lock down a site as well as you know, critical flanks, I think is going to come into play a lot and significantly in this series. Yeah, they are starting on the defense, so the Cypher is definitely going to be a little bit stronger to start, and they should rack up the rounds early on. So I believe that the Saints should have a very good job going into this game, because when you start on the defense, you really want to rack up as many rounds as you can, because a lot of people say that is the easier position to play. Mm. You know, the enemies just walk into you. You just have to play reactive to their plays. But Harrisburg, 6-0. We'll see if their perfect record is nothing to sneeze at right here. Viper getting the lineups here, putting up a wall. Looks like getting a push for mid-control right out of the gate. But Instinct is there holding it. 
pulling up now. We have Reno and Huso. Instinct just waiting around the corner, not going to push up too hard. Smiley is waiting to get aggressive, but again, no deaths so far. Everybody's just trying to gather some information. A mid push is coming up through Harrisburg University. Smiley in the trenches, <laughs> going to have to escape. He knows that they're coming and he doesn't want to be there when they arrive. Rotations now. Saints are going to have to start considering them, considering that, again, Harrisburg University going through mid, they could. Get, send a lot of people onto one of these sites very quickly, very suddenly, and the Saints won't have a lot of time to react. But as they're coming up the stairs here, they're going to face down one of the sites right very soon. Right there, as you can even hear the agent <laughs> saying, it's inevitable. Utilities coming out, going around the corner. Instinct's going to find one. Smiley's finding two around that other corner. Utils coming down just to make that flash <laughs> even harder for them. And Seth waiting for one more. Right for Smiley finds a third. Instinct and Seth wow. holding down that site. And the Saints are going to get a flawless on their pistol round. It's boating well for them so far. Yeah, Saints have really grown a lot in the pistol round, I must <laughs> say. At the beginning of the semester, we were surprised to see them win a single pistol round. For sure. But now they're betting very consistent, even against strong foes like Harrisburg here. And now Harrisburg down the count for money. I think they're going to be opt for maybe a full save. I see a few of them buying pistols, but... I think they're just going to go for the full save. They want all the money they can get going in the next round. The Saints, they're going to buy some nice rifles here. So it's going to be very tough for Harrisburg. I have to try and close the dif distance here on A. And I don't think they know there's three Saints stacked up here. Kai prips a flash. Uh -oh. He knows they're on the way. Smiley's watching the flank here. Gonna spray it. Get a pre-fire in. Lead the way for Instinct. One, two, goes down from Instinct. Hijinx is going to get the trade. One more to go for Smiley as he finds two. And now we're just down to one player on Harrisburg. Yeah, and it's probably not going to be one for much longer. As Giza comes around that corner, finds the headshot to take the second round in a row for the Saints. Uh, you know, it's it's how the round is supposed to so, You know, we always end up saying that because it's true. When you're playing off the defeat on the piss around, you just don't have the weaponry. And when you're playing at this level competitively, it really makes the game. You know, not having the ability to confidently take one-on-ones and, you know, get those entry frags, it just completely changes your game plan and makes it that much harder. So, of course, Harrisburg University, unsurprisingly, losing that second round, but they still have a lot of gas left in the tank. It's just two rounds in. I'm sure they'll be able to pull through. Yeah, they're just expecting to lose that piss around here. They want to go for the full save. They have all, all the money for this round. This is where it really counts. And the Saints did a three-stack mid because they're really expecting that mid-push once again from Harrisburg. But it's going to be a full A commit from them. They don't have the spike with them. He sees the cypher wire, and that's enough to get him to back off here. Not feeling very confident. Omen Smoke goes out. Looks like they're going to have to go for the rotate. It's going to be a lot of time burned for Harrisburg. They find one with the knife. That's going to be the cypher. Not going to amount for much, but that's some good info. They know they're lurking around A. Mm. They're going to fully commit to this mid lockdown. Oh, it's a, it's a, it's a face-off in the middle, as you can see. It's both teams are going to have a significant army waiting there, but it's going to be a cold <laughs> war. They're going to back off eventually there. Instinct going to try to gather some information, but ultimately going to yield to the middle. Ironically enough, uh, by all of them holding down mid, now none of them are pushing it. So, <laughs> Yeah, but the Saints rotate accordingly. They hear a few footsteps over on A, and they see all the util coming out. Instinct lays down a grenade. He's going to send out a blind as well. It's not going to amount to much. They're just going to play passively, wait for the plant. There's a nice flash from Kai. He's going to rotate around, look for one, look for two, but it's Smiley's way too quick on the trigger and finds three. And now there's only one left on the side of Har Harrisburg. It's Jeffy once again. This time, though, he has a rifle, he has armor. It's a 1v3, but with no spike in sight, he's going to have to go and save. Going to have to retreat, and that's, again, the play you're going to want to make when you're playing off of the back foot economically. You have to save as many guns as you can because that gun in the next round can prove to be very valuable. And even if not, it, you know, at least you're saving the money that you would have spent or a teammate would have spent in this round going in. So it looks like Harrisburg University, they've got some money to play with. You're going to see some SMGs coming up, but another Phantom pickup, or no, that's the one that was from over on that last round. Going to get passed off to Huso and uh, looks to be sheriffs and pistols all around for the rest of Harrisburg University. So another budget round for them. They're going to see if they can get as many pickups as possible and try to ride the momentum from there. Exactly. They have a rifle to play around. The Saints can't play exactly as aggressive as they want to. 
But nonetheless, they still have the range advantage on all four of these team members. So they're going to have to still play a little bit better here. We see Instinct facing off against two. He gets double peek, but he still manages to get out and get some good damage <laughs> on Harrisburg. We're going to go over to Seth. He's bringing through that toxic wall. Jeffy. That there's a few there. Not going to amount to much, though. So we can look back at Wooda's. He's going to mm. be pushing over on A. And mid control is going to go the way of Harrisburg. Looks like they're going to commit A. Going through vents here. We have Huso pushing on through. Leading the charge. We have Smiley, though. Yes, waiting, like, lurking, and jumping, and trying to get <laughs> his prey to push. Climbing the rope there. Smiley diligently holding that corner as they come around. The blast pack is going to push him forward, but Smiley's already backing up. He does not want to take that engagement, but instinct as he's changing weapons is going to fall. Huso finds an opening, a gap in the Saints defense, and that's going to give enough room for them to get as many pickoffs as possible. Three Saints are going to go down, but two in response, Harrisburg University. But in Spike amidst planted. all that chaos, they're going to get the plant, and now the Saints are going to have to retaliate, going to find their way onto the point and get the defuse, but it's not going to be easy. Harrisburg University is going to hold onto the site for their defuse. Here, like Caillou oh. already perched and waiting, ready to get the kill, but with a flashbang coming out. Jeffy, it's Child's play to get the kill, but with Steph getting the TP, turning around, but not fast enough. Huso with the 4K, taking down Seth and winning the round for Harrisburg University, putting them on the board, finally. Seth getting a little over aggressive there. I can see why, though. He's feeling himself, but just was not the right moment. I don't think he expected him to have a rifle there, but... Less. You never know. You gotta play with utmost carefulness as we look over. Looks to be a split push once again. Saints looking a little worse for wear on the money side. One of them even has to buy light shield, so they want to win this one and try and secure their leading position once again. Else Harrisburg might start to run away with it here. Yeah, winning doesn't automatically mean you have to go ego because you could be the one guy dying every round and needing to full buy. So, uh, yeah, a couple of those Saints are going to be feeling in the poverty zone right now as they already lose one at the start of the round. Harrisburg University, again, finding another opening. If they're going to be able to capitalize off of that pickoff, we're going to have to wait and see. Obviously, they're going to be playing this slow, which, if you ask me, that's smart. You don't want to tr immediately blow the advantage that you've just found. So they're going to be able to still play carefully. Giza waiting around the corner, seeing if we can spot anything. Woda seeing if they can spot any of the Saints as well. But the information game is one that's not going to be well played by either of them. They're not going to be going into this engagement blind, but it's going to be a best man win scenario in that one on one if this is going to go. Actually, no, they both ran away and they're all rotating the over ult. to B side now. The ultimate goes through. Uh, Seth is going to get wall banked down. Smiley retaliation kill onto Huso, avenging Seth. Smiley getting the spray down. Jeffy is going to fall with the Uto coming out. Can he get another flash? No, no one's going to run that corner. But Emerges from it, but Caillou finding one, using the spray control to almost find the second one, but he does get it eventually with the headshot and clean take off of the head. Harrisburg University down to just one on Woda on the Cypher, but Smiley waiting around that corner is going to find him eventually with a clean headshot, taking it over now 4 1 for St. Clair College. Smiley is having the game of his life right now 12 and 1, leading the charge for the Saints. That is a massive difference. The next person <laughs> in kills is going to be four. That is, <laughs> that's a major when you say, difference. When you say it like that, it's kind of hard to believe. Next person's going to have four. Four. <laughs> four to 12. That's crazy. So if I were the Saints, you want to play a next to Smiley there. He's going to keep you safe. Like <laughs> old Coach lot. Owen said before him, he's a wild animal, unable to be tamed. Doesn't control Steven there. He oh, yeah, that you did. <laughs> he does whatever he wants. Uh, but Instinct will be able to do whatever he wants here. Not quite. Going to find one at the very least, but going to go down eventually. Tamed, unlike Steven there. He's uh, going to find Woda coming around the corner. His doppelganger out of this round now. Who's so bouncing off the walls like a sugar high child. Going to find the rope. See if he can get this engagement in his favor. But the Saints, again, equally playing slow, playing careful. They're not going to get overzealous with their rotations. They're not going to get over eager. They're going to wait, let Harrisburg University play into them, and then happily take those kills as they come pouring in. Looking for information as well, like this Rainbow Six Siege, just watching the camera, <laughs> seeing if they can find any uh, disturbing patterns. But they're not going to want to push up there. I think they can just 
just tell that something's wrong, something's amiss, I've got based off trail. the information game Ooh, that both of these teams are playing. Game. And a showstopper committed from Harrisburg. They're going to try and clear out this B-site. Kai's prepping the pop flash. There it goes. It's going to go in. Jeffy gets a kill, though. Seth gets one, left. but he has 15 health. He's going to have to get out. Trying down some smokes for his team. He's trying to disrupt Harrisburg right now, but they're just so confident. Now, Smiley's going to be taken down by Huso. It's going to be a massive one on the side for Saints. Enemy. But Giza finds a nice pick. It's a 2v1. But now it's a 1v1 scenario. They're both one shot. With 12 seconds remaining, the spike is going to have to go down. And now we're in a tense situation here. Seth needs to find this kill. He's going to peek, but he gets Headshot doesn't matter at that point with his health. And that's going to be a nice clutch from Huso. Yeah, Huso was just ready for that one there. Very well played by him. We're going to be 4-2 to two now. Smiley still leading the charge kills-wise. Saints going to have a couple of dimes to rub together here. Whether or not they're going to cash those in, most likely not going to be the case. Just going to go for those cheap, long-range, one-shot, headshot, <laughs> capable pistols in the Sheriff. So, uh, two rifles coming out as well. That's a weird buy. Two rifles, one mid-range rifle, one full auto, uh, two classics in the Sheriff. They're not too, too great, great on money, but they want to win this one. <laughs> I think they're feeling confident enough with St Steven here. He might just be able to do it. We have Rano oh. peeking corner. Takes a lot of damage there through the wall. Only 55 health left to his name. Around this corner now, perhaps. Smiley. Around this corner, but no, not fast enough to get that shot. But that is information for Smiley as he's able to wait patiently. But he's going to go down. Not able to capitalize off of his util. Seth going to just smoke them off, make them paranoid. Literally, and <laughs> they're not going to be able to push up that confident. They are going to rotate away, moving over to A site, it seems. That's going to be the favored spot. And now the Saints just have to play the waiting game, play cautiously. They only have three one left, so they're trying to keep one on every major choke point. They got uh, one over I on B, exactly but as Seth yeah. goes down, it's just two versus four. The Saints are going to have to take action and take it fast. They did spend a little bit of money this round, so losing here would especially hurt. I don't, don't think they're going to... Just commit to saving, most likely. Caillou is going to fall through that smoke. I think Giza's just going to go for it. Left. Just get a yeah. YOLO play. See if you can find! Oh, you can mean. find the head of Jeffy on the point, getting the plant. 20 seconds remaining. Can Harrisburg recover? Oh, he gets one in the trap as well. That's going to slow down the plant, but he doesn't check the corner. And Woda is going to get the kill here. And just like that, Harrisburg is catching up in the round. Saints only winning one round in the past few. Now, they're still in the lead, but money-wise, this is the make or break round for them, especially for, no, Seth is able to buy as well, but it's not looking great. They're all gonna have to commit to the light shield. <laughs> I don't know about this one, man. <laughs> I think they're just feeling comfortable. You know, they have the rifles that they need. Here. Whether or not they got the shields to back it up, uh, I don't know. But <laughs> they're going to feel confident. They're going to feel ready to play the way that they want to. So it's better than nothing. You just full commit. They have four ultimates to work with, so it's not all doom and gloom. The Saints do definitely have a chance in this round. And, you know, winning here would mean a lot for yeah. their momentum. Not just literally, but also momentum-wise. So they don't want to lose out on that. Going up now, seeing if they can find any pickoffs, but Harrisburg playing so conservatively and it's working out in their favor. Yeah, they need to be careful here as we see Instinct all gonna back off as he hears a few footsteps mid. Gonna play a little bit further back on B, play the ledge. Serrano prepping a flash. Not gonna be flashing anybody though as the Saints have given up mid completely. But it looks like they... Looks like Harrisburg is going to be mounting up for an A push. Because they do have Spike over there. They're going to go rotate over through sewers and go for a standard A push. And hey, it's been working out for them. The Saints are going to have to try and figure out something that works here. As we see two of them facing off with the Viper over on B. Jeffy's really just wasting their time here, making sure that the numbers advantage goes towards Harrisburg. Because look at that. All four of them, okay. or all three of them, just shoving on to this A site. All four of them there. There's only two Saints to defend it. Make it three now with the ult committal. And now, despite going down, 
Saints are going to have to play retake. You don't see these off in 5v5 retake situation. Caillou sprinting for his life to get over there as fast as possible. But hijinks behind them. Saints, they're going to have to make a play. They're all kind of funneled into this one spot. It's looking a little bit dangerous, but Util's ultimates are all coming out. Everybody's coming to play. Hijinks going to find two with a shotgun. Seth going to put him down. Caillou getting Jeff in return. We're even now, but Smiley goes down to take the 2v3. Coming around that corner. Huso's going to find Seth. <laughs> and then Woda's going to take down Caillou to Take this for Harrisburg University. 4-4, we're tied up, and the Saints are not looking good on the economic department. No, eco-wise, they are looking to be in the rut for at least another round or two. Mm -hmm. And that's how I expected this game to go. I expected it to be a little bit more even here because it, it was very shaky in that start. They won pistol, they carried that lead for a while. And Harrisburg won one, the Saints won another really kind of all fell apart in that like fifth or sixth round there. And now they're just stuck playing catch up. We need a thrifty from the Saints if they want to remain competitive with Harrisburg here. Else this is going to be looking very shaky, especially on defense. Especially on defense, like you said. You know, you, you have to be able to play with your opponent pushing into you. But you don't want to get complacent. You don't want to let them walk all over you. And I feel like the Saints are playing with that in mind for sure. But Harrisburg University is able to just to make the most of the situation where the Saints are a little bit too relaxed. And they just push in and in. And then they, as soon as you know it, they're all over the site getting plants, getting picks. And it's not good for the Saints. So as you already Ooh. see, Instinct going to get the pickoff on Surano with the Showstopper. Three oh, that's Saints. a grenade. Oh, that was a grenade. That was My just a simple there. grenade. That's Ray's yeah, for you right there. Oh, oh, Giza seeing they the smoke dissipate. Wife. And he finds the headshot. He really had to hedge his best there, and it paid out in full. Three to one odds in his favor. He's going to be laughing all the way home after that one. Caillou going to get some info. Not going to off to go for the flash. Oh, there's a showstopper. Oh, there's a showstopper. It's going to find left. Instinct taking out, again, the doppelganger. Three to three here. The Viper's Pit's gonna get committed. They really wanna shut down the Saints on this round, and I think that's a very smart play. They're already feeling the pain economically. They're going for a budget round. Actually, never mind. It is a budget round. You know, <laughs> if, the Saints, uh, if the Saints lose this, they're not gonna be too upset. Commanding the ultimate, maybe it's gonna work out in their favor, maybe not, but in any case, it's gotten a lot harder for the Saints. Smiley, gonna go for detail through the wall. Going for the flash too, but Caillou going around the corner, finding the headshot. Huso is gonna be down, and Altesh is gonna be in that corner, giving enough oh, room for the no. Saints to push through, but Jeff be emerging from the smoke, but behind Smiley is ready to go. The ultimate forcing him off the site. Gonna go for the defuse, but the teleport is he somewhere dangerous? Yes, but can you stop in time? No. <laughs> Hijinx comes around the corner and puts an end to Smiley's dream. But the Saints did a huge amount of economic damage in that round. Pros don't fake. No, sir. <laughs> <laughs> and as we just saw, Bros don't pay. Doesn't pay off all the all the time, but you have to just sometimes stick it and see it's gambling. But it looks like it didn't turn out too great that time. But what is looking pretty great is the economic situation on the Saints, you know, because mm -hmm. they got a few kills here. They got half on the spike. They're looking pretty dang good in money-wise. On the side of Harrisburg, they're still set from winning so many rounds in a row. This is the one Saints need to win. We'll see if they can manage to do it. Instinct Ooh. shoots the box, gets some nice damage off on the sky. Rano looking a little worse for wear. He's suppressed as well. That's going to stop the push from mid for a little while. Now we see Smiley prepping the concussion. Waiting for some footsteps, waiting for a signal Ooh. from anybody. Can't quite hear it yet. But I'm sure so this is going to be explosive in just a few seconds. Smoke's gonna disappear eventually. And before it does, he wants to get any info. The flash is gonna come up, but Instinct is gonna be standing there ready with his gun in hand, taking down two of Harrisburg University's finest. Three versus five. Saints are gonna be holding the advantage very handily here, but as rotated to be, that very well could change. Yeah, this is Valorant. Anything can change if you play your cards right. But right now it's looking very Saints-sided. Pushing over to B, gets caught off guard, gets a few shots in him. Oh. Seth is still gonna be having to deal with all three as he doesn't get the kill. Viper Wall is gonna go up. That's gonna split them up just a bit. Caillou and some of the other Saints are gonna be on the point, ready for them on this high ground. Do they expect them there? No, and that's gonna allow them to find two. Wow. Seth is gonna find hijinks in that corner, and that's gonna be the first flaws we're seeing for the Saints, Saints since the pistol round, and in pretty similar fashion too, just with more expensive guns. Yeah, that was a very clean round from the Saints. 
looking pretty good. And now, as we can see, the economy on the side of Harrisburg is starting to wane. We're seeing a Guardian, a Sheriff, a few other cheaper guns, cheaper options here, light shields even, all around, just shuffling it around. They do have the Omen Alt. Not going to be game-changing, though. Yeah. Could be some trickery. I could eat my words, but... I think you just want to save it for a more useful... Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> but if they're in a pinch, they have that op option open to them. No, but the Saints don't pinch. They they scratch. They claw. <laughs> so they're not going to find themselves in a pinch. If they're already in a bad situation, they're not going to walk out of that unscathed. So the Saints, uh, when they when they grab, they grab hard. But Seth is going to take down Jeffy. Another pickoff almost coming out for hijinks there. But Seth opting, deciding where he wants to go next. Pushing up onto mid. They're going to find the opening. Opting to make that rotation over to A. But they have a lot of Saints waiting for them as Flash goes out. Not even gonna, there's the not ult. Even there's the omen ult. I don't think he sees the cypher. The cypher saw know. him. He waited for it. And Giza finds the kill out of the ult. And now it is a 3v5 situation for Harrisburg. They are in a very tough situation. They do have a rifle in their hands and a guardian. So Instinct has his work cut out for him here. He sends out the boom bot. Finds one. Gonna commit the, sh the grenade as well. Does he get a kill? Does he get a clear? He hears some damage, but it's not going to be enough. Ooh, that's one with the teammate, though. Going to blast back in, but that's going to be a nice pick from Uso. It gets taken down by Smiley. 30 seconds left. Taken down by Smiley. You know what? Going down, you might as well go down to one of the best. Smiley being one of those. Flash is going to force Voto back. Smiley is uh, waiting to push up, but going to find Smiley with the dying breath there. <laughs> the Sheriff Shot's going to take him down, but Giza ultimately going to get the final kill to take last the series 6-5 in to the, five in the last round before the switch. It's anybody's game. Two ultimates in this game. One on the Rays on the Saints and one on the Cypher on Harrisburg University. One of these is going to be a lot more useful for getting in and <laughs> causing some <laughs> havoc, but... Don't underestimate one. Cypher all. Do you, you know where they are. Uh, <laughs> Whether or not you can do something about it is different. Yeah, when you're playing yeah, attack, you're right. you, you kind of know where they are already. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you just got to <laughs> not die to them, which is easier exactly. said than done. In fact, immediately going to lose the information there. The camera's going to get shot down, but Giza holding down this site has Harrisburg University starts the rotations. They really favor this mid site, sh this mid site, and I don't uh, blame them for it at all. It gives you access, very good access, mind you, to both other points. The other ways you get into these points are pretty funneled, so, you know, very, uh, very narrow passageways allow you to get shot down very easily. So if you're gonna push up anywhere, mid's kind of the best place to yeah. go to give yourself better options. Exactly, you keep your options open, but looks like Harrisburg is more one-track minded here as they're gonna move over to this A site. That's where they've found the most success, I think. They really want to make this dead even going into the rounds with how close this game is. Neither team wants to lose a single one. We see Rano go for a flash. Now the explosion happens as Smile gets the first pick. He gets flashed out too. Now we have Giza in the back here. Finds another with a flash from Smiley, but it gets taken down by hijinks. Now it's a 3v4 situation. Harrisburg gonna get the plant down, but Smiley flashing at the wrong moment. Gets taken down by Rano, but Caillou's using the moment of chaos to swoop in and get a kill. There's another flash coming out from the side of Harrisburg. They're trying to buy time, and they got two kills, and now it's a 1v2 situation for Seth. And now the Sky all coming out. He has to face a 1v2 situation, and he dies. Five health. Woo. Difference. <laughs> Oh my gosh, dead even, 6v6 as we get into the next half. Saints have to have a really good attacking half. I completely agree. You know, I think you were either saying that defense is generally favored or if it was this map is, specifically yeah. that's favored. But in any case, now that they have the attacking initiative on their side, I really do feel like that might be the kick they need to kind of get themselves into high gear. Uh, I think I think they're just antsy on the defense. I, I think, think they, so. they I think they just didn't want to have to wait for the engagements. And they were always playing... Uh, they were playing proactively in situations where it might not benefit you. And just as a layman looking at that game, I feel like attacking suits them a lot better. And I think they're going to be able to take that initiative and make it really scary. Ooh. As you can already see, <laughs> they're trying to get some openings up into mid, closer to B side as well, leaving one Cover over on up. the A entrance, just in case some rotations come through, as you'll very often see on pistol rounds. But as they come up, I think they're on camera. If that sight line does not deceive me, there's the, the tag coming out. 
finds a good bit of damage, but so far, so good for everybody involved. Yeah, Jeffy, gonna get healed up by the sky, though. Not gonna be too much in the grand equation here. But now we see Instinct trying to go rope, so Uso is there waiting for him. Does he know? Is he gonna commit? He's taking it very slowly. Saints only have a minute left to make their push, and we haven't seen a single real gunfight. We've seen tags here and there, but nothing of much substance. Substance is everything in your pistol rounds because you have nothing flashy to work with now. except for a couple of flashes. But it really does come down to your right execution there. and game plan. Of course, if you can click heads better than everybody, it won't matter if you're going to die before you can click them. If you get flanked or if you're facing down a 3v1 in a narrow hallway, there's nothing you can do. And that's why everyone's playing so carefully, but just firing through the smokes. Giza is able to take down one eventually. Teammate providing some. Uh, confidence to be able to just sit and oh shoot there for so long without getting swung on. So Caillou, after all that time, is going to get the left. first plant of the Saints side on attackers. Flashbang coming out, and it's going to be on Harrisburg's three to make their way onto site A and make history occur, but one Instinct's going to take down one. Giza now following up with the kill onto Jeffy. It's just hijinks, and well, you know what? Oh, no. I was about to say, now it's not hijinks anymore, but he's still in this. Still has some health to work with. Not a lot, but it's there. Going around the corner, looking the wrong way. But as you saw a split second there, he was looking <laughs> right at you. Almost took him out. But now with the victory of the pistol round on their back, the Saints are up 7-6. to six, And based off of all the math, they should be up 8-6 to six after this round. Yeah, they should be in a decent spot going into this next half. Should win the next one, but they're going to do a little bit of a light buy as they don't have too many funds from buying all the util. They're going to have enough, though, to buy two rifles, a bulldog, a spec, two, and two specters. Should be good if they want to play fast and play quick. But looks like Harrisburg is going to invest in a couple of frenzies here to try and slow down this Saints push. Now the flash comes out, Giza hears all the footsteps, and he's got to be careful here because, well, they might not have much might. Oh, they're really going to look away, Buds too! And now there's only two left here in the mid. Grant's going to come out, going to take a little bit of damage. He's going to peek, though, almost gets another kill with a, such little health. He has to be very careful here. He doesn't want to give the rifle up. He doesn't wife. want to give it up, you know, this Harrisburg oh. University, they're hungry, they'll take anything <laughs> they can get, they're not even trying to get the kill, they just want the gun, they're chasing him down for it, they want it real bad, they're gonna have to pry it from his cold, and they're still chasing <laughs> him, come back here, <laughs> oh, oh Caillou. Caillou, waiting for them at the end of this alleyway, he finally found the backup he was desperately looking for, they still want to lose a single member on this round, the spike is already planted, and they just have to wait for Harrisburg University to get a little too impatient. And Caillou finding that kill this finally. No the defuse attempt coming out. No one's really here to stop it. Oh, there's a concussion. They okay. Shoot. He's four health. That was scary for if, if you're a saint. Uh, the uh, the the explosion is gonna be able to take down Seth. But wow, that that could have been really really bad. That could have been bad if they didn't invest that util there to clearing that. That would have been a round that should not have gone their way. Just <laughs> taken so easily. I can imagine the comms in that situation. <laughs> Dude! <laughs> <laughs> Smiley! <laughs> concussive, concussive! But it worked out in their favor. And just like I said, they're eight to six here. It's only a matter of time now. The Saints are feeling confident. They actually have worse guns here because yeah, they they're do. working with just uh, either the scraps from the previous round or uh, maybe they kind of did go down. Actually, well, no, no one Seth went down. did go down to the bomb oh, at the end. Oh, true. So he doesn't have a lot of money to play with. But oh, that's but that's going to be a pick going to Wuda at the beginning. Wuda. The only confident. Shoot a Wuda Kuda. But you did You're gonna get that kill. Try to wallbang each other. This round feels a lot more uh, hyper than the previous ones. I feel like everyone's just kind of scrambling for something here. It's uh, it's like it's Team like watching match. <laughs> a sped up video. I feel, I feel like that was just <laughs> insane. The uh, the frequency with which actions took place there. But as things kind of finally calmed down a bit, a little bit of breathing room, time to think. I finally realized that Seth is down, <laughs> and uh, the Saints are gonna have to try to play. Uh, an efficient right offense, but it's going to be easier said than done as they really need to find an opening and take it. If they went for B through mid, that would probably be their best chance as they have Harrisburg University. Both of them are pushing up into B, their backs to that window that the Saints will be coming out of. But obviously, they don't know that Giza going to go down. 
being a little too slow on the get-go. But they see that B is partially open. Whether or not they are recognized fully that it is, it's going to bounce back. Ooh, sees the back of the Omen retreating. I don't think he knows they're here. As the plant comes out, now he does. But Instinct is ready for him. We're going to check out this other alleyway. But, oh, Smiley waiting for him in the stairwell. Oh. But he's going to go down 5 HP left for Reino. Now going to be exiting, entering the same way the Saints came in. Saints, oh, almost got that headshot. Whoa. Unbelievably so, but Jaffe finds it first. The flank. Once Saint left, but Instinct is if you're ever in a position to get a clutch, this would be it. Oh, immediately getting two, but Hijinks going to put a stop to that dream, taking us now to eight to seven. This series is still close. This is one of the closest games the Saints have had in a long while. This might be even our first overtime in a while. And I remember, I'll always forever remember this because it went so late. One of the first few times I ca ever casted Valorant. Oh, yeah? The game went, I think, almost 50 rounds. It was like <laughs> 24 to 25. It just barely was not 50. It, 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 was, it was insane. And we might be seeing this here tonight with how these <laughs> rounds are going. So uh, prepare to lock in, folks. Get out a snack and get comfy because we're having some good Valorant. Like, I don't remember that very well, but I do remember people saying, ah, for your first time, ah, <laughs> pretty good for your first time. There's people teasing you about that. So I don't doubt that for a second here, but we might have a lot of seconds to work with if your prediction rings true in this series. As Giza fighting too a little bit here. Reno with the judge waiting to come around this quarter potentially, but gonna get the alt orb, baiting out Giza to get a little impatient, gonna fall for it. Saints four to five now. Can they find some entrance, some pathway, a nice paved road to enter into a site? You don't find those often, but if you pay attention long enough, and if you're sm game smart enough, you might see one where others wouldn't. So gonna get that spray, he knows that someone's there, gonna try to get that spray down, he's gonna get damage off of it, so gonna walk away with that happy. Of course, you wish you could get the kill, but shooting at a box randomly, you'll take what you can get. Gonna see here, Jeffy waiting for the poison spray on that ground. Gonna delay the Saints just a bit now, but they're gonna full commit over onto ropes coming up. Nobody's here to stop left. them. Saints are gonna full commit to A, getting the smokes out, getting the rotations, teleporting as well. It's gonna be pretty clean for Seth, finding the side of Oda's head. Now, if they can just get the point, the spike is gonna go down as Smiley drops it, picking up, carrying the torch forward. However, Seth is gonna get the plant, and now they have to wait for Harrisburg University left. to play into that. Oh, but I just gets a nice double, ready. and they're just flooding in on the site. 1v2 for the Saints, but it's not gonna be enough. Sorry, I was just so tense right there that I was at a loss for words because I really wanted to go Seth play, but with Harrisburg all flooding onto the site. It was not in the cards for yeah. them. And now we're tied 8-2-8, eight, eight, and the Saints are down guns. I think Harrisburg is definitely going to take the lead here. Yep, if you believe in math, you would, but I don't believe in math. <laughs> I believe in the heart and the human spirit of friendship and passion. I, looking at the lineup here, again, the Saints with three sheriffs, one SMG. Oh, now two right SMGs, there. two sheriffs. Right They're there. just preparing themselves to rush it. Oh, three Circle SMGs. There. They just want kills. They want to literally <laughs> run. They don't want. They're not going to play pay, playing patiently. I guarantee you, they're going to rush right in, there. see if they can find any kills, pickoffs. They'll be happy with. You have a couple oh, long range sheriffs for the pickoffs, but Judge waiting for them. At least they know now what to expect coming through. With that flash though in hand, Sky is going to remain a threat regardless of the knowledge. Saints. Looks like they're deciding to go for a bit of a rotation. I think Harrisburg University might recognize that. They still have their Cypher over on A site, but no other rotations are coming through. They don't, maybe, maybe don't even need them. Seth is eventually going to fall down. The smoke is going to be completely clearing that garage site. And now it looks like the Saints have fully committed to a rotation over to mid. And Giza there taking a lot of damage from that spray through the smoke. Just probably I want to say 20 HP or even less as so we look over to Caillou but a nice pick with a headshot with the sheriff gonna flood in onto the site here with instinct he has a showstopper he has a friend oh from behind Finds one doesn't find the other and smiley's gonna be there his guardian angel and now on a thrifty they all fall down it's a 1v3 situation for Harrisburg and St. Clair is really playing on the back foot or I mean Harrisburg just lost the entire lead 
in a few seconds. That lead is gone, but it's not forgotten as it's going to be resting on the shoulder of Woda. You need to remember the former glory you had. It was so close. So close. He's going to opt to save, it seems. A 1v3 is just a little too rich for his blood. And you want to Maybe preserve the economy. Maybe it's not, but with the way that bomb is ticking, it seems to be the case. Going to humble Caillou a little bit there, but the flash coming through, he's going to be already done and dusted. Out of here before the sun can come up. Chasing around the corner here. Can not you find it? Yes, he does! Gonna completely rub salt into the open wound of Harrisburg University. Already committed to loss around, already committed to saving, but Kai, you gonna risk it all, chase him down, and make it worth it. The Saints working with all the money in the world, and Harrisburg University is gonna have to do some budgeting to make ends meet this round. Speaking of salt in the wound, they do have a stinger on the side of Harrisburg University. True. That's all they can really afford. That's their most expensive good. I yeah. saw one of them contemplating the outlaw, but with Saints, their money's too good. They have full shield. It's not even worth it at this point. We have a showstopper on the side of the Saints as well. We have four alts on both sides of the board right now. This is sure to be an explosive round if Harrisburg wants to make it so. We see the tremor come out from the side of St. Clair. It doesn't quite do much as Caillou takes down Seth in a team kill. A wrongly placed, placed uh -oh. nade takes him down. And now, and now we're going to be looking at Giza. They're going to be slowing it down. That team kill really put a, put a wrench into their plans. It's more like putting a sledgehammer in it, just something a little bit more menacing than or, that. Or, or Molotov <laughs> in their plans, because that's yeah. what happened. He stood in there in the molly and unfortunately burned to death. That's the ult. I feel like uh, you want to say something more than unfortunately there with burning to death. But with Caillou on that ledge there, Flash coming out, it's not going to give him much room to work with, but the confidence is there as he comes around the corner. Fights one, two, when he definitely shouldn't have. He's going to go down. But the showstopper from Instincts are going to find Reino around the corner that's holding off for Caillou to get the revive. They don't even need it. He's not even going to be able to re revive in time. Okay, well, he's going to get picked up. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he's going to be able to save his gun from that round. 10 to 8 now. Saints are making the comeback. Matthias, my buddy old pal. What's going on for the side of Harrisburg? Harrisburg going to have to opt for the light shields. They're not doing too great. But honestly, I think they did come out slightly on top in that round. Sure, they lost the round. But... The Saints burned two ultimates where they shouldn't have. They also mm. lost some money with the team kill where they shouldn't have. They're not doing amazing. And on Harrisburg, they have every ult that right they want. There. The only thing not going their way is the light shields. But I don't think that's going to matter too much. The Saints are in for one heck of a game. But with Instinct playing how he is, it doesn't matter. He gets paranoia, but he's going to get out. And Kai is going to be there. He's guarding the Angel. And a lot of Harrisburg is flooding into mid right now. Uh, they, the immediate committal of the Viper's Pit over onto B side, that's not really doing much. Nope. Uh, it's, especially when you're playing on defense, especially when you're playing on the back foot. I think you want to save those for a little bit more risky situations, right? But uh, whether or not that's the case, it's going to get committed and they're going to force the Viper to sit over there. But Caillou pushing up to mid, spraying through the smoke. Giza is going to get that last exactly bullet they needed to get that kill. Viper forced to still sit in the Viper's pit, the last man standing <laughs> for Harrisburg University. But at least, oh no. you know, you still got the Viper's pit up, right? <laughs> All four long. Saints <laughs> rushing over to A site. This Viper is forced to walk over there <laughs> well you have to you know you can't yeah. stand that viper bit as the bomb starts ticking <laughs> 1v4 situation jeffy little jeffy is gonna have his work cut out for him right here and he's gonna have to move on through and now the smokes are up another one returns to its place oh he's no finds the tags the he's one hp i mean eight but that's gonna be one bullet Plus away one. from death and i think he just wants to save this gun but He's not in a great spot. He's gonna play for these He's aggressive pushes. Team and Ace. there it is. Team Ace on the side of St. Clair. And for how close this game has been, it has not been close as soon as we got on the attack. You were right, Daniil. The Saints were itching for this attack. They're just so aggressive. Cruising for a bruising. And they're cruising. They are cruising on through. Only two more rounds needed to win it all in this game of one. But Harrisburg's not going to go down without a fight. They're going to no, invest sir. once again in some guns. They're not going to worry about saving. They don't want to be put Saints yeah. on match point. <laughs> this is this is scary, to say the least. 
you know, you lose this round, you basically lose the game. Um, you'll still have one more chance. You're not going to have a lot of money to work wow. with that chance, but Insect immediately flying in. Jeffy is going to find his back there with that Stinger, picking up the Vandal in return. Maybe a little bit of a YOLO play if you ask me for uh, Instinct, but it's going to provide some room and information for the Saints. They recognize that mid was highly populated, so they're going to make that push over to B, where it's currently only the Omen. But I really feel like they they should be more confident than it looks like they are right now. I would love to see them just kind of go for it. But Seth, going to use the ultimate. Going to get picked up. Oh, but the concussion is going to come out. The ultimate is pushing through the TP. He's going to find his way onto the site. Jeffy now. They're going to be forced to be in that window waiting. Omen ult. Another one sees two of the Saints before going to get picked out there. Smiley is going to go for the plant. It's not going to go his way, though. He's going to have to stop eventually. Recommitting for it. Now the Yuto's coming out. Harrisburg University, they're trying to get their way in. But Caillou and Giza not going to let that happen. His hijinks is going to fall as well. Smiley using the util. It's going to be damn near impossible for him to do anything if you're on this side of Harrisburg University. With a 3k on Caillou, you're one run away from yielding this map. And with them investing so much in these forced buys, this is probably just going to go the Saints' way. They committed so many alts to try and clamor, try and do anything to get a lead on the Saints. But now, 12 to 8, this is looking like there is no hope left on the side of Harrisburg. Of course, they're not going to go down uh, without a fight. Doesn't quite matter, though, as the Saints are looking to be explosive. And especially, I don't think we're going to see the Rays just bomb in there. That was a 4v5 all the way through. Now, it's going to be a 5v5. There's the Satchels. Finds one, gets dinked, doesn't die, as all he has is this Guardian. We see a Judge in the smoke. That's always dangerous here. The Saints, doing a split push here, aren't going to fully commit to either side. Dangerous indeed. The guardian of their hopes and dreams, Harrisburg University, holding on tight on this defensive side. It's especially scary because, you know, you really do have to play reactively. And if your first hold fails, it's Boy, such a morale hit that you really can't afford when you're playing for match point. So thankfully, all of Harrisburg University is still up, but that might change soon as Instinct through the smoke is going to take down one. Spraying through, Wona is going to go down eventually to Seth, not after. Not before picking up uh, Instinct on that B side, but Steph waiting for the smoke to dissipate. Gonna start spraying through, trying to get the wall bank. Gonna TP to the other side with one bullet left in the chamber. Caillou is gonna cover his retreat, and they're gonna just be watching this door. Cause why else? Wow. And Caillou gonna find an instant 3K. We don't even have the time to see it before the game's gonna wrap up immediately. 13 to 8. The Saints are gonna take Game One against Harrisburg University, but the score line. Odyssey does kind of tell the story. That was a close one, and both teams fought really hard. Yeah, that was definitely close, especially in that first half. But once the Saints found their stride on the attack, it was just smooth sailing. And props to Caillou. Really, Smiley was leading the charge on yeah. that defensive half. But Instinct and Kai really stepped it up in that second half and got so many kills and even exceeded him. He had a 12 kill head start. And, and we and got seven still... after that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was, that was what, like round two or three? He had 12? Yeah, that was like, I think it was like round five, maybe. But like still, that. that's majority of the kills every single round. <laughs> yeah. It's great. Eventually, Caillou, he always comes for your score line one way <laughs> or the other. It's inevitable. He's going to reach the top one way or the other. But with that game under our belt, it seems that Harrisburg University is feeling the might that the Saints have in full force. But we also saw that they're capable of a strong offense and defense with respect to their own gameplay. So it's going to be far from anybody's games right off the get go. But as we wait to get into game two, before we throw it to a break, Matthias, what are you excited to see for the most? And I, I think you said the next map. What was that? It was Ascent and the Saints are starting attack. So they okay. are going to be in their comfortable spot, especially with the momentum coming off of this game. Mm -hmm. I think we're going to be in for a very Saints heavy game going into this next one on paper. You know, Harrisburg could maybe review, learn from the mistake, sure. their mistakes there, but I'm going to say it's going to go over to the Saints. I don't see it going any other way, but Harrisburg, I'm ready to be proving wrong. They were very, very strong on the defensive side, so they could show us up here. We'll see, but we're going to throw it to a quick break and we'll be right back with game two.
Hello, everybody, and welcome to Game 2, St. Clair College versus Harrisburg University. Here we are. Saints are starting off on the attack this time. And we saw what they could do on attack. And here we are on Ascent, one of the most simple maps in the game. But no, there is some complexity here. It is just all about these gunfights, all about these tactics. There's no more gimmicks. Very few walls to shoot through, but there's a lot of tactics at play and there we are we see the lineup we see Woda's on Sova Rano on the Ka K I almost said Caillou the KO it's because KO is always played by Caillou but this time it's actually been played by Smiley as well Jeffy on the Killjoy who's on the Jet and I am blanking on the last guy's name so we'll see it after the logo goes away so we're gonna see Sev on Omen Instinct on the Sova Smiley on Caillou, Giza on the Killjoy, and Caillou on the Jet. And those final selections, we're heading into the action on Ascent. Like you said, it's one of the more straightforward maps, but I often find in games as competitive as this, the more straightforward something is, the more sweaty it becomes. So there's going to be a lot of specific gameplay choices coming through for both of these uh, these teams, and we're going to have to see how they're going to try their best to outwit each other to come out on top. Exactly. It's like if you guys play Smash Bros, it's like Final Destination. There's no gimmick. <laughs> A flat plane here and we'll see who is better and we're gonna reach our final destination here potentially if st Clair can seal the deal win this game at two that's gonna be it for the series harrisburg gonna take their first loss I, but you know no platforms can be a gimmick in and of itself when you really think about it you know there's complexity in the simplicity exactly and that's the point <laughs> i was getting across when we first started out so there's complexity in the simplicity because all of that simplicity allows you to complexify it it's not being made complex for you you get to complicate it exactly. so as we're going to head into the simplest of simple rounds the pistol round round one of game two we're going to see who's going to come out on top here as a Saints. nice dodge. <laughs> Just simple. That was a that was a Korean backdash right there. <laughs> gonna be pushing up over here now. Up through mid, it seems Saints are gonna be able to find it relatively uncontested over to A. They're rotating, it seems, through that little bit of a cheeky alleyway. If they're gonna be able to find through whether or not they're gonna get in, we're gonna have to wait and see. But Seth is gonna come through that other entrance, it seems. Or is he gonna? Oh, he's gonna go for the smoke. But Caillou now, they're gonna be pushing in full force ahead, full members, just one lagging behind. They're gonna try their best to get in. But as they're pouring out, so is Harrisburg University trying to get in on the site, trying to get back into the action. They're missing one, but the action is not slowing down at all. As a headshot through the smoke, Huso is gonna find Seth's head on those boxes. He just knew, he just knew the Saints now playing the defense. Harrisburg University trying to find an opportunity to get in and get that defuse. The Saints are playing so vigilantly though. The sonar dart going to provide valuable information for them to play off of and that's going to let them get two pickoffs. Caillou's going to oh, find no. one, but the last Saints going to fall. Caillou in hell going to be dissipating and that's going to be the first round for Harrisburg University. Yeah, he was in hell there. He only had 15 HP, nowhere to run. Found his pick, but with no teammates to make good on the rest of them. He's going to go to the side of Harrisburg and now the Saints have lost their first pistol. Mm. Who could have thought? We're seeing their old <laughs> demons fair, come back. <laughs> they won two in the last game, so we can't keep harping on that forever. That's They're proving true, us wrong true. time and time again, but I will keep harping on it forever. Exactly, they deserve it. Jesus you need to win every world. pistol round, or else you might as well not even win a single one. <laughs> but going over, we see it. Hughes go for the sheriff, and everyone else are running it. So oh my god. Just Wanted barely this. missing. Wanted that kill so badly. That one specific spot just really did something to Earth Giza. Uh, gonna take the punishment there, but now I, I feel like the Saints favoring this mid side again. A lot of reasoning for it gives you access to both points pretty consistently, but it leaves you vulnerable to attack from a lot of sides here. But they're still committing for this, and they're just about to find an opening. Rotations from Harrisburg are getting underway, almost finding attack there, not quite there for the Saints. 
They are playing on the economic back foot here, but they're still playing as if they have all the money in the world. I love the confidence I'm seeing from them here. They're not slowing down, they're not letting up. And they're gonna be able to make that rotation over to B-side. Caillou taking some tags through the walls just a little bit there. Giza taking down something over there. Getting ready to dash. Caillou excited, ready, waiting. Instinct's gonna take down Huso. The first blood is drawn. Reyno's taking out Seth. And just behind them now, if you just get a little bit, get in there, find them. But Giza's gonna take down Uedo. Smiley spraying down Jeffy. But Kai's gonna find that pickoff. They're on site now. They just need to go for the plant. This is the dream that you're looking for if you are on the Saints. It's the piss around that they lost. They're coming back from it. The Eco Smiley. They're gonna wow. get one, two now. And they're gonna get the plant just for the extra money. Saints are gonna come back after losing pistols. In a thrifty, they only lost lost one member sure one got oh. close to death but one member in a thrifty is insane they played very tight True. very cleanly and now look at that they got four guns for free their economy is going to be looking very good going forward very clean you'll love to see it. the saints it's like christmas for them they just got a free airdrop <laughs> yeah. of, uh, of loot of, of weaponry and it looks like they're going to want to take it very far into this next round Harrisburg University, they paid the tab on St. Clair College's armory, but they still have to win the round on the side of the Saints. It might not go their way as Giza goes down in that exchange with the doppelganger Jeffy, but the Saints are already onto A site, completely uncontested. Yeah, they're going. Looks like Harrisburg was going for the walking ball of death mm -hmm. trap, trying to just gun them down with all the pistol fire, but it's not going to work well enough as Instinct finds the one on the flank. Now they know what is happening here, they have an inkling. They just have to hold the front and the back together. They can't split up too much. They have the number, well, it's equal numbers right now, but they definitely have the gun advantage. As we look over to Smiley, he's gonna be the one to pick this corner first. Go and lay down a molly, pop flash, turn around, trying to open it up for his teammate. Don't really have the range to play against it right now. His instinct's just gunning it down there with the Sheriff. Not gonna find all too much. As the time is ticking, they need to move in quick. You got a trade, Caillou finds one, Smiley finds another, he switches the pistol, there's only one left and he's so, so low, but you gotta get out of here with all Run. your guns. And there's Caillou. He's gonna, gonna clean fall up the round. Down. But it's going to be very close, and he dies to bomb. We, he's gone, but not forgotten. His sacrifice will be remembered as we head into this next round here. Saints are up one point over Harrisburg University. Coming off of that lost pistol round, we are in the impossible territory. Again, they should not be in the circumstance right now. They should be maybe just finally either recovering off of their last round loss after they finally had money to work with or, you know, really gearing up to get a full buy-in. But they're defying all the odds, and they're going toe-to-toe -to -toe here. And... Doing a strange buy as well, as well uh, off in an Odin. So they're v investing very heavily into this round. If they die, if these if they once again give their guns to the Saints, this is going to be awful for them. You don't want to give oh. up these very expensive Saints guns. Saints with the Odin. Don't Saints with the op as well could be very dangerous. Op on attacks hard to do, but if he could do it, it's just point and click adventure at that point. See Smiley opt for a little parkour, misses it twice, so now he's not gonna do it. <laughs> he just give up. <laughs> he gives up. Just give, that's the rule. Give up after two tries. That's the lesson we want to walk away with here today, right, guys? Definitely, definitely. As we move over, they're not gonna give up their push over to A though, as they are just trying to burn out all this util from Harrisburg. They're gonna give up. You know what? Two tries and we give up once again as they're gonna rotate <laughs> off this? and go mid. <laughs> <laughs> I feel I feel like I'm watching like the opposite of a of a children's book. Like I feel like I'm learning the opposite life lessons I should be learning. Like try twice, give up. That's it. <laughs> but Caillou, you know what? He's gonna be he's gonna be the uh, the exception here. He's gonna show us how to persevere. Huso with the up as well. A one v one potentially in the making, but Seth is gonna find hijinks and two running him down. <laughs> They're gonna get the exchange, but Smiley committing. Ultimate is going forward with ooh, who's still finding Caillou, but with that scan coming through, I believe he got at least one tag through. Not gonna find the kill, of course. That door sparking around the corner. He's almost finding it. Not quite. Low HP, dropping the up, picking up the vandal. He wants to be a little bit meatier here, a little bit more potent, a little bit more present, and it's gonna go his way as they're forcing Harrisburg University to rotate, going up to heaven, but the Saints are watching both angles. What can you do if you're on Harrisburg. Not much, as they're just <laughs> gonna have to try and save whatever guns they have. 
As no flashes or anything. They, they, don't, they can't. They don't have away. anything really here, especially with Silva being on one HP. Savings probably going to be the best bet you have going forward. Saints going to be on that. You definitely don't want to lose this Odin. This Odin is like oh. 3,200 credits. Nice snipe. Not going to hit the mark, though. <laughs> it's not a nice snipe, though. It's a little bit of a bad snipe. <laughs> I think Let's we can to, say it. Try to give him props for taking the shot at least. Oh, oh no! no! He no! loses the Odin. He's not going to pick, pick it up, though. He doesn't pick it up. Why? He's not going to pick it up. Oh, oh he, gets he got it. One. <laughs> he got it. Frame one Odin pickup. You don't see that every day, ladies and gentlemen. That's a perfect electric wind godfist combo. Impossible to do. But he did it. The Saints, they're Robin, they're Robin Hood. They took the op and the Odin from the previous round and repurposing it. They're thrifting, Recycling. literally, literally. <laughs> They're thrifting the unused, well, gently used goods. Oh, maybe they might have a couple kills under their belt on these guns. It might be slightly haunted, but <laughs> they are repurposing these guns for their own uses. The only thing work. The only thing these guns are haunting are Harrisburg's dreams right now, as oh, they have brutal. to go up against. The most expensive arsenal that they themselves <laughs> bought. Exactly. The Saints didn't even buy this. They still haven't bought guns for a few rounds now. Of course, a few of them ha have had to, dying. But honestly, the majority of them have been sitting pretty, just picking up scraps off the ground this whole time. As we move over, Saints are going for a split push, playing with the aggressiveness of Harrisburg. And hijinks is looking to get up to some hijinks here as he's pushing. Hey, no, he's going to decide against it. <sighs> the Saints playing very slow, very careful. I think they're trying to suss out where this op is, because that is the one gun that could end their dreams here. Sure, the sheriffs. I think there's another gun as well. There's a few other guns, but the sheriffs aren't really going to be something to worry course. about if they play their range right. And, ooh, Kai going to be wanting to take down the op sniper. Jump scare. Oh, gonna give nice that, gun. Gun. that was clean. <laughs> as Caillou making that stylish uh, gun trade look useful gonna go down eventually but the sheriffs looking scarier than you thought Matthias as they pick up three with them oh gonna go down for it eventually trying to get that wall bang not gonna go his way he's in a very scary spot right now but Giza finally here to give some backup that's just the Sova here for Harrisburg University facing down two Saints with rifles you don't want to be in the situation and you're not gonna be in it for long as they're gonna yoink you right out of it gonna get that last kill to tie up the round or well, tied up in the sense that they're going to put up in a nice neat bow <laughs> as the Saints get the plant, finish off the round. I have to clarify for the, yeah, ra the, the radio audience. We're very far from a tie at this yes. point, but not impossibly far. Harrisburg, they win a few rounds here, and they only need three to catch up. But at this rate, looking at the guns, looking at the economy, mm. this is a wide gap to close. You're going to see the knives being committed from Huso. It's going to be all right. Actually, he's going to buy the op instead of shields, which is interesting. But they just need kills at this point. Again, the Saints, they don't want to have a uh, unfortunate loss on their record. Owen is very proud to say that they haven't dropped the map in this league. And I think they want to keep it that way. And you can see it in their play style. Dashing in with that flash. Going to find the knife headshot to take down the enemy jet. Finding a second one. Jeffy going to be nothing but a memory for uh, after that engagement with Caillou. Woda with that Odin's going to find one with the suppression. We have to wait. Be patient. But Smiley doesn't care. Going to find Woda. The Odin's not even going to let lose a bully even though it has the highest attack rate but Caillou with the third night kill of the round doesn't even matter if you have a gun not gonna use it not a single bullet let loose from that vandal as we head into the next round the Saints are up five to one over Harrisburg University yeah we're not we're just about hitting that half we just saw the halfway point in the first half a quarter through doing my math wow and Harrisburg not looking too great. I'm they sure your math teachers were proud of you on that one. Exactly. I, I passed fourth grade math. I know my <laughs> fractions, everybody. But Harrisburg is looking a f more than a few fractions away from the Saints right now. They need to catch up and soon. But with the economy not looking great right now, it's going to be a tough fight for them. Giza, sling them down with the U-tail. Trying to play a little bit more aggressive because they want to start harming the Saints economy. The Saints have rarely died. They've only gotten one or two kills. Last round was very good. They got a few more kills in. The knives come out. Giza, though, going to scare him off with the rifle. But Giza did land a few knives in his own chest here. It's not going to be looking great for him. He needs to try and peek this without getting headshot. Finds one. Does not shut down the blades, though. 
but they're slowly but surely whittling down this jet. He's only a few bullets away from oh! death. That's a clean headshot from Uso. As he peeks it, smiling, he finds the kill. He's and in Caillou. synchronicity, Caillou finds another. Yeah, he's no Caillou. He, uh, but it's hard to beat Caillou at that previous round. Oh, All no. the kills, he's, but... he's oh. jumping around. He's trying to rotate quickly, but a little too fast for his own good. <laughs> it's caught out, and Caillou gets the headshot. Saints are looking to make a statement here. They're making more than a statement right now. They're just showing that they have pure domination on the offensive side. But with a timeout being called from the side of Harrisburg, that is fair. You need that. You need to go, yeah. go back, try and end yeah. that momentum, because the Saints have been riding the momentum from the end of game one all the way to here. 100%. And the Saints have been riding it very efficiently. Yeah. It's like a perpetual yeah. motion machine. They just... They flick something and now they're just yeah. something like that. They're not stopping anytime soon, but they have to find the law of physics to tell that professional motion <laughs> machine to stop. It's like it's like defeating magic by not believing in it. They have to be like, you guys can't do this. You should not be able to pull this off. You should not be able to pull this off, and then that's gonna work. Right. They have to just pull that mental energy yeah. together. Or they're probably more likely strategizing on how they're gonna want to take this next round. That's realistically what they're going to do. I don't think there is a perpetual motion machine going on, but it certainly feels like it with how well the Saints are playing right mm -hmm. now. Momentum is the name of the game, and they are playing it to the max. But honestly, taking a break here, I don't know how the economy is on the side of Harrisburg, because if they don't have enough money to buy rifles, it's not a great one. But hey, they are looking pretty good on the money, so that's a good time to take <laughs> well, a break. That's good <laughs> time I've seen teams all the time take a timeout when they have no money in the bank. It's like a pistol <laughs> round, and they won't have money for two more rounds, and then it just stays the same. But props to Harrisburg. That's why they're 6-0. Mm -hmm. They know how to use the ta tactics, and they exactly. know when to take a break. But we'll see if that break pays off right here. And I want to reemphasize, you know, both of these teams, 6-0, Harrisburg. Just look at the stats. An incredible team in this league in their own respect. But Caillou is going to make them look like they're not coming around that flank, trying to just get as many payoffs as possible. But now they see him. Now they don't. Caillou's going to fall. Nothing but a memory now. The flash is going to come out. Going to get that op shot off and dash away. Not going to find anything, but at least you survive. Giza is going to be next to fall. Hijinx is going to be the one to deal that death out. But the Killjoy is going to go down, forcing the Saints off the point. In fact, they're even going to not even be able to retreat in peace as Instinct now just letting the shots loose. But he's going to get the plant. I think they were able to either destroy that Killjoy or what? Whatever happened there, but Instinct on around this corner, pulling something out the Seth. wrong possible opportunity, but Seth with a 3K in the meantime. It's a 2v2 now in the blink of an eye. The Saints have the spike planted. They just have to wait and let the Harrisburg University squad come into them as they have to just play at their peak here. Oh, above oh, with the up <laughs> in hand. This is going to definitely go in Smiley's hands at the end of this round as Seth finds a 4K with the beast of a Gundam just spraying him down. <laughs> going to get the op and carry it forth into the next round. Man. Oh, he that... didn't pick it up, actually. Never mind. No, he didn't. <laughs> okay. He didn't pick up Doesn't the op. Doesn't need it. He's comfortable with this rifle. It's kind of a choice, like a, a comfortability thing. On the attack, the op definitely isn't great. If you have the money and you don't really need a gun going to the next half, you're not going to pick up that op. You just want to burn it down. You don't want it in the hands of the defensive side. And the Saints are looking very good right now. Seven to one, two alts in the chamber. Three alts in the chamber, actually. If they really need oh, to swing no. the tie in their favor. It's going to be explosive one. Yeah, the Saints, they uh, <laughs> they they really should not have these many ults right now. I feel like it's just not fair at this point. You know, they have the momentum going the way, they have the lead advantage, and they have the alt advantage, and the economic advantage. It's just insurmountable so far, it looks like for Harrisburg University, but they must surmount it one way or the other if they want to have a hope of maintaining their perfect record Ooh. in this league. Seth watching that door, watching this alleyway now, pre-firing even, just such elegant gameplay coming out. Flash coming through, but he's already behind the cover. Giza waiting in hiding, waiting for somebody to cross his path. That smoke dissipates, and Caillou ready for it, but Hijay's going to wall bank Seth, taking him down, but the attack to kill Joy. going to force them back, but it's going to get destroyed. Jeffy 
Oh, around the corner, getting the one pick off, but Instinct waiting for hijinks. Oh, in a very dangerous spot. The wall bank's not going to find him. Sonar Dart, can you find him in time? Yes, he gets the scan. Gets that flick. 3k for him. Instinct wall banging. Not going to find it just yet, but enough damage to make it a little bit easier for his team to make it work. Smiley peeking around that corner, and it's not going to go the way of Harrisburg. Trying to get the retreat off, but they're just going to go down with the ship, and they don't even care <laughs> as they have too much money. To, they're not even going to go down. It's absolutely brutal 8-1 to Harrisburg University has to dig deeper I, I love that play that they did right there at the end uh, yeah. instinct went out as bait with a knife and it really <laughs> caught the attention of the killer because it was the <laughs> first guy he saw and it really made him pause and really have to reconsider the target halfway through that gunfight it doesn't really matter as any of the round it was already in the Saints favor mm -hmm. You just love to see little hijinks like that. As we look over at hijinks on the other team, he's gonna only have a sheriff. They're gonna have one god guardian gamer on the <laughs> other side. But Lost. Lost of Bonus is uh, potentially doing a lot here to keep their economy in this game, but it's still not enough. They have to have these eco rounds uh, eventually, and that's gonna be one of the eco rounds for Harrisburg University coming out here. We saw their last strategy was death balling, but it seems like they want to play a little bit more uh, reasonably here. Caillou is going to find the back of Hijinx retreating. More smokes coming down, and this site is cracked open like a walnut on Christmas Day. They're going to be hopping on these boxes here. Another site line covered by a very dangerous Valorant player, Caillou, locking down heaven. As now, Harrisburg University rotating through all these other entrances. It's looking difficult for them to find a way in. Pretty difficult so far, but they just might be able to do it if they can get a few key picks here. He's a gonna go into two of them down, but that's a nice pick from Huso, but he gets taken down by Instinct now with time ticking. It's not looking very good for Harrisburg. As actually it does as Jeffy finds two. Oh! It's shut down by Caillou and one to Caillou. Nine. <laughs> one to nine. One to nine. Matthias. We're on a Valorant team right now. We're one to nine against. We're you know we're perfect record on the line here. We're one to nine. What are you saying to me right now? Uh, we're defe We're we're an attacking team. Honestly, we're an attacking team. Man, we're. <laughs> it's not looking good, guys. We're gonna do. If I was Harrisburg, oh gosh, just looking at the line there in the middle, one green. <laughs> Woo! Nine red. That is not. Don't look good. point it out. You're not supposed to point <laughs> but, that out. But nonetheless, <laughs> Harrisburg. Maybe you're an attacking team. Maybe you can do what the Saints are doing to you yeah, right back. Sure. Go flawless. We, we joke, but seriously, you know, like we've seen it's what possible. this team is capable of on that previous map, but it, it is really difficult uh, to play against the Saints, to be fair. Really hard. This team is insane. <laughs> but Harrisburg University, insane as well. In fact, getting two already. Three now. Are we going to see another nice little green on that timeline? It looks like it, Matthias. Seth, the last man standing, and he's looking to almost go down with the pre-fire immediately. Doesn't even have the spike. It's gonna be a game of manhunt. Rambo, first blood. Is this gonna be the origin story of a hero or a villain? And it's gonna be a villainous one as you're tasting the first taste of defeat you felt in a long, long time. Or in the last round before the swap. 9-3 curse Put on the line here. Oh. If Harrisburg wins this one, they potentially might activate their trap card, unleashing the 9-3 curse upon the Saints, reversing this entire game on its head. But it all depends right here. You have to win the last round and a half here if you're Harrisburg. Oh. It's all on the line. Your money's not doing too great. It could be doing a little better, though. They could actually have somebody buy for another, but whatever. doesn't quite matter. They're going to buy what they buy, and they're going to opt for the knives as well. Who so is going to be going in here. Yes. Ooh, he shuts down one. He's going to dash no. right on through. <laughs> I don't want this 9-3 curse. I don't want it. I've been here all day. I want to go it. home. You might have it. We might be seeing an OD at this point, but... It all depends if the Saints can clutch it up right here, and they just might. They find two out of nowhere, but they get shut down by Wodas. Now Smiley's cruising on through. He's going to molly that back half, prevent the push from going in. There's drone committed. Clear up the site completely, and Giza finds one through the wall. It's a 2v3 situation for Harrisburg. It's not looking great. Make that a 1v3. Of course, he's going to have to push on through. It's going to be a very tough push to make, though. There's two guns waiting for him, and that one is going to be instinct. Getting the round-ending headshot, making this half. 
<laughs> the two. Playing duck hunt with his teammate there, trying to <laughs> trying to take him out in that final round in the half. But now, uh, you know, we're in new territory. It's a new earth. It's it's a new opportunity. It's a new chance. You know, we saw Harrisburg University pull through and get that first round win. But, uh, you know, like a fresh pair of white sneakers, it, it's untainted. And Just they like have their record. You know, but it's going to get, someone's record is going to get tainted here. Tonight. Exactly. Those sneakers will get scuffed eventually. Yeah, you creased. just have to accept that. But you're not going to accept it without first trying to put some polish on there, trying to make the best of a bad situation, taking the best care yes. you can. Yes. And that's going to be Harrisburg going into this pistol round. It could all potentially be a little bit more of a gap closer if they win this one here. But it looks like the Saints are going to go on the aggressive here, clearing out this B site. But, this but Harrisburg is going to be waiting all the way on Hey, they're gonna find two oh, oh, oh. in the middle, but it's gonna get traded out. It's two v two, two for two, three v three. Only still even, and I think the guns are gonna go over to the same side as those are the ones remaining able to pick them up. Sikiza, lurk in the back, finds one with the alarm bot, finds one two, looking to find the third, and this could be it. Potentially he finds the right click, but now it's a one v one. But luckily, instinct on the back luckily. line finds it. Yes, luckily indeed. <laughs> like, uh, you know, th those shots from Giza were like surgical. Like, those, it was like, dip, dip, boom, dip, dip, boom. Check his PC. Check his PC. Say, it, was, it was a nice <laughs> rhythmic pattern. It really satisfied my my primal brain. And something, something about those shots was just so nice. And yeah. as we're heading now into this next round, which is People love mathematically patterns. going the way for the Saints, you know, actually... Yes. Mm. <laughs> I think you doubt? You doubt? You think it this depends might go on how away. they It depends on how they start this one out. Expect. I want to see how they set them. If they just go in aggressive guns blazing, I'm pretty confident Harrisburg will take this one. They all have stingers. They're all just juiced up, ready to go. They just have to go with it with no hesitation. And there you go. Hesitation is coming in. That breeds doubt. Oh, doubt breeds though. hesitance. Hesitance breeds death for you and your team. Hesitation is defeat, and now we're going to see the Saints go on yes. the attack. They're going to go for the pinch maneuver, try and corner them into their spawn. As we see, right they're actually going to back off. They're going to play a little bit more reactively, <laughs> and the Saints are looking pretty good. They do have the judge, and they're going to judge if Harrisburg is good enough to make this all the way here. Don't know if they're going to be good enough, though, as we see the Bulldog Seth pushing up, trying to find anything. The Saints, you can always tell they're eager to get that gun <laughs> moving. Down. That trigger finger is itching, and it looks like Giza is going to be the first oh. to scratch that itch as he finds one. Going to transition He's to a so longer range itchy. gun, spray it down, trick him out. He's one HP. Will he get the last shotgun oh! shot? But his teammates there Teamwork. to clean it up with the trade. And now it is a 2v2 situation. <laughs> And Harrisburg not looking too great on health. Both one HP. And Instinct oh! is right here. Gets a double with the judge in the corner. Almost died for it too. <laughs> oh man. Two to twelve. Once more. That is a score line you don't wanna be in if you're Harrisburg. And if you're the Saints, you gotta be feeling good about yourself. You don't wanna let this lead slip away slip away right here. It's all green in the score line. Will they end it right here? Will this be a very quick game? What do you I think? hope. <laughs> like I said, I've been here all day. I, I can't hide it. I've been here all day. I want to go home and sleep. And the Saints are looking to be the Sandman as they're getting ready to prepare me for bed. As Caillou oh. immediately picking off two. Thank you, buddy. But, you know, Harrisburg University, they still have every opportunity in the world to pull through here. Instinct taking one of those chances away, though. Jeffy fighting one more. But around that corner, Instinct with a judge in his hands is going to put an end to it. Giza leaping through the skies, judge in the air, putting an end to it all. Taking the Saints two over, Harrisburg University, now they're seven and zero oh in this league. And Harrisburg University is gonna take their first defeat. Again, the Saints are gonna take their victory and it was incredible, very incredible. well done. Yeah, with how close that game one was, the momentum just swung somewhere halfway mm. through that game one and they carried it all the way through this game two i expected to go some other way but you know what 
Did we really? In the no. beginning, we no. thought the Saints were going to no. win. No. I, I thought the Saints were going to win. Yeah. Me too. I had some <laughs> doubt though. there, though, in that first half of the True. first game. Yeah. Eric Spoke put up a great fight. The Saints just hit their stride. They they definitely had me in the first half, you know, Harrisburg University. And again, I, I want to emphasize something because with the amount of competition that these teams bring, it's absolutely paramount to understand that no team we're seeing on stream is bad in any way, shape, or form. These teams are playing at the pinnacle of their competitive capabilities. You know, collegiate, uh, Valorant, this, it doesn't get better than this in a lot of ways. So, you know, Harrisburg University going down to the Saints here, but they played their hearts out. They played incredible Valorant, and I'm very excited to see if we ever run into the game, the running into them again, <laughs> what, you know, what more they're going to have in their pockets for us. Exactly. If you're going to lose to somebody, this is the team you want to lose sure. to. They are number one in the power rankings for good reason. And Harrisburg, they put up an amazing fight, but Saints are going to be the ones who remain flawless all throughout. Mm -hmm. But with all that said, this has been an amazing day. Thank you very much for casting with me, Daniil. No Valorant is always such a joy. Coach Owen came in here there at the end cheering. <laughs> he thought he was a little bit, he was confident going in, but you oh, could tell that he was like, they're a good team. And they yeah. were a good team and they fought well. But hey, Saints always sweep. That's what I'm going to say. Saints sweep all the way. Now we never win again. <laughs> you heard it here first. You got to give a little bit of cast a curse when they're number one in the no. power rankings. They need some adversity. <laughs> they need some adversity. Their adversity is the high level opponents that they're facing. That's <laughs> adversity enough. But like you said, today was a fantastic day. I couldn't agree more, especially, you know, if you don't know, we've been doing like a, uh, a March break camp, yeah. uh, esports camp for some children at the Nexus. It's been fantastic as well. If any of them are watching this stream, Hello. I Hello. told you that broadcasting was fun. Now you I'm have Daniel's friend. I don't work there, so. <laughs> so, <laughs> thank you very much, everybody, for watching. Thank you to our sponsors, of course. HyperX, Tim Hortons, Subway, the St. Clair College Alumni Association, and the St. Clair SRC. Thank you, of course, to you, Matthias, for casting with me. Thank you to all of our viewers, and thank you to Caillou, because I asked him to make this a quick series, and he said, sure, I'll try. And he did. So, <laughs> very uh, strong thank you to Caillou, for sure. But we also can't forget what we have tomorrow, and it's a long one, so forgive me for reading the list here. It's going to be a game day, mm -hmm. and we are going to have East NACE League of Legends, ECAC Fortnite Duos, and ECAC Team Fight Tactics at 7 p.m. You don't want to miss it. It's going to be a good one. So we'll be back tomorrow for more streaming goodness. And thank you to the viewers for watching. 100%. Good night, and we'll see you tomorrow for more St. Clair action. Take care. Take care.